Hi, I would like to show you how you can use 3D text in your SketchUp projects, especially for 3D printing. And I'm going to cover some um, problems that you might encounter. Um, okay, this is uh, a model I just made, and uh, and it's supposed to be a name tag that stands up uh, on your desk, so you can see that. Um, I'm going to move this out of the way to show you how you can do your own. I'm going to move it out of the way. Done. Uh, first, you need to draw a rectangle or any 2D shape. Um, I'm going to make it, let's say, 30, sorry, 100, comma, 35. And that's uh, 10 centimeters by 30, uh, 3.5 centimeters, okay? And I'm going to click 3D text. This is uh, Lucida handwriting font. And I'm going to write a name and it's the height is 20 millimeters and the uh it's extruded by five millimeters and it's filled so if you click this off you get just the outline of the letters and if you click this off you get uh, 2d shapes okay then i'm going to stick it on here on this rectangle it basically snaps on the rectangle when you do that now the problem is it's not a solid and the problem for that is the overlap here, right there. So that's not possible because you cannot have um, a solid inside another. So you have entities crossing into each other. So let's uh, center this. Okay, so how do I fix that? Let's uh, go back to 3D text. Let's write down. Now, not all text, all fonts do that. Let's say if you like a certain font and you really want that font, this is how you can solve the problem. You put a space between the letters that overlap. Okay. Now, if I put that, you see it says solid component, so it's fine. Now, you might say, the spacing is not good okay that's okay you select the uh, letters and move them closer together or farther apart whatever you like make sure there's no overlap you can go as close as you like but no overlaps no touching okay that's that say that um, See if they're touching, they're not touching. So they're very close. All right, when you're happy, click off of it. So it should still be a solid, and it is. Okay, uh, if this is a nameplate or a name tag that stands on your desk, so you need to create a bigger base. So to do that, I'm going to draw a line parallel to the, to the bottom edge, and I'm going to use the push and pull tool and raise this section maybe by one centimeter or two centimeters whatever you like uh, let's say two centimeters 20 millimeters okay now slightly different from the one I showed you so okay like that now let's say I want to create an arch over like this and I decide if I do that I don't have enough space on that side and the problem here is I forgot something I'm, I'm gonna go back actually if I may I'm gonna go back and raise this base first before I so I'm gonna do five millimeters now what happened is you can see I gave it some thickness down here and then I'm going to draw the section for the base something like that I'm going to raise this maybe two centimeters 20 millimeters 
Now, if I want, um, if I want to create an arch, I need more space on the top, so I'm gonna use the push and pull to and raise this. It doesn't matter how much; you can make it as much as you want. Say 50, because I'm gonna trim off the part that I don't need. So here we are. I'm going to use the the two-point arc. Go from the corner here to the corner there. Draw an arch and orbit to one side a little bit. There you are. Use this, a push and pull. Basically what I want to do is move it and uh, eliminate it. It's done. You can add other shapes and one way to do that is to go to um, special fonts like webding and winding fonts for example if you want to put um, in the, I don't know, a heart maybe that would be capital Y be capital Y in webdings um, any special so you don't have to draw it or if you want the yin and yang uh, symbol that's wingdings and square bracket so let's say we do that to go down and choose your font so I'm using square bracket So, and you can put it where you want to put it. And let's say I want to move this down a little bit. Now this one went on top of uh, the letters. So obviously you don't want to do that. And it's too big, so delete it and try again. So I'm going to adjust the height, let's say to 15. Oops, I forgot. Try again. Square bracket. Fifteen, let's see if it fits there, it does. So we put it there. You want to put it on top of the face and it tells you that but once you do that you can see that the same level so what i have is a solid component there see if that's solid the name is solid this one we have to select the whole thing and turn it into a component and that should be solid as well now if you want to turn it into one piece, you can select them all, right click and turn it into an outer shell and it should say solid group and it does. So here you are. This is 3D printable and I would 3D print it like this. And, uh, and this would stand on a desk like that. So I hope this was useful to you. Thank you so much for watching.